The R2 was the backbone of Romanian armed forces early in the war, with only a few German supplied vehicles as support. Armed with a 37.2mm Skoda gun, they didn't pack a big punch, but with a top speed of 40km per hour and crews trained in concentrating fire, it could prove devastating against light armour. In Axis Allies Bagration, the Romanian R2 is the mainstay of your armoured divisions. Lightly armoured but mobile, its 3.7cm gun with anti-tank 6 can be used to great effect in numbers against light targets. Beware however that due to its small size, the crew are overworked, so firing on the move could prove to be difficult. The Romanians decided to modernise their armoured divisions in early 1943. This saw an order for 150 Panzer IVs from Germany to replace the ageing R2. Delivery was slow, however, and the Romanians struggled to keep them on the front line. The 7.5cm KWK-40 L-48, however, was a big upgrade and was already proven to be capable of dealing with enemy armour. In Axis Allies Bagration, the Romanian T4 performs almost exactly like you'd expect the German Panzer IV to perform, with good mobility and anti-tank 11 from the 7.5cm gun. The major difference is the size of the platoons and the crew's skill, so use them wisely to help mitigate these downfalls. The TACAM T60 is an ingenious piece of Romanian engineering. Taking captured Soviet T-60 light tanks and combining them with captured 76.2mm field guns resulted in an excellent fighting vehicle that was also extremely capable of taking on heavier armoured targets, and retained the good mobility of the light tank with 40km per hour top speed. 34 of these were cobbled together and pushed to the front line by the end of 1943. In Axis Allies Bagration, the Romanian TACAM T-60 tank hunter is a deadly ambush unit. The 76mm gun has anti-tank 12 and firepower 3+, plus, making it great at locking down flanks. The crews are also well skilled, so use mobility to get these set up in a position to lock down an enemy armoured advance. <laughs> 